All right. Well, I'm going to do this right. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy Wednesday. All right, you guys. I know. Right, Adair? <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, let's go into the chat or the app and let's look at what we are doing. So we're going to start off with one minute of cardio today. We're then going to move right into 30 single skips or toe taps. We'll go into 20 shoulder taps, and then we're going to be doing 10 tuck-ups, you guys. So let's go ahead and get ourselves moving. Pick the cardio that we are going to go with. I'm going to get my clock moving so we can get ourselves set for this morning. All right, give me a thumbs up if we're ready to start it off, you guys. Here we go. Three, two, one, and let's begin. All right, we're here. It is officially Wednesday. So as we're going ahead and getting ourselves warmed up, just kind of think about what is your intention for today? What's the focus? Is it to move? Is it to push yourself? Is it just to celebrate that you are here? So, all right, everybody, 30 seconds. <laughs> All right, here we go. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. All right, everybody, we're moving into thirty single unders. Three, two, one, and let's go. All right, 30 single unders or 30 toe taps, everybody. Then we're going to go right into 20 shoulder taps. And then we are going to do 10 tuck ups. Good to see everybody here bright and early. Halfway through the week, we got up. We're here. All right, 30 single skips. Now we're gonna go into 20 shoulder taps. So as we're in that push-up position, really make sure that those hands are pushing through the floor. So that's gonna lock in and support them shoulders. And then we're going shoulder to shoulder tap. All right, tuck ups, everybody. It's gonna be 10. We're laying flat on our backs. Come up into that crunch where we're kind of balancing on that tailbone for a split second or balancing on your butt. And then we're gonna go right back down. I like this one especially where we just kind of get to reach all the way back as we lay flat on the ground. And then once we're done with this tuck up, the 10 of them, we're then gonna move right back into single unders or toe taps. There we go. Just getting moving, getting them legs moving. There we go. Good work. <clears throat> so if you guys are observing in our Facebook group at all, um, little by little, we are growing more and more. So we're gonna have new faces in our group. And I think you guys have done a really good job and welcome them. So thank you very much. Oh, look at that. Your dog's stretching Tina right next to you, like doing almost exactly what you're doing. <laughs> All right. Again, after we're done doing your single unders, shoulder taps, and after shoulder taps, we're going to go right into your tuck ups. There we go. Good work, you guys. We have a fun morning ahead of us today. As you guys know, Wednesday is our body weight theme. So it's gonna be 100% body weight. We will have a finisher that will have some dumbbells. Better than that, it's all body weight.
Okay, here we go. A little bit over 30 seconds. Five seconds, three, two, one, and rest. All right, so let's do this everybody. Let's go ahead and go to the app or go into the chat, grab some water. But today you guys is gonna be a full body weight theme and we're gonna move right into a 10 minute EMOM. So that means we're gonna do every minute on the minute for 10 minutes, right? So minute one, we're gonna do 45 seconds of our shoulder taps. Now it says pipe shoulder tap, but it can be in two different things, right? We could do shoulder tap or we can go right into a pike position. So that's gonna be where the tailbone is gonna be high up to the sky. So from there, we're gonna then gonna go into the next movement. We're gonna do 45 seconds of tuck ups. Good to see you, brother. And then we're gonna do tuck ups or V ups. So wanna go over both movements real quick. So when we're gonna do the shoulder tap, like exactly like we were doing in the warm up, just make sure them shoulders are over your wrist. And then we're just gonna go alternating that weight, shifting that weight and going side to side, okay? Now, if you wanna get in that pike position, we can be in so, like so. I'm going to show you a little bit different if I was to be on something that's going to elevate me a little bit more. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and do my shoulder taps. So it's a, it's a little bit harder than our normal shoulder tap. Um, and it's giving a little bit of elevation. So it's going to make it a little bit harder. So let's play with that. If you have a small uh, step to use, you can try that. Now, just to be clear, we're going to go ahead and do our tuck ups. So again, we're gonna lay flat on the deck, come up with that pause, or we're gonna come up, touch your toes, and then come right back down, okay? So again, we're gonna be working for 45 seconds. So we're not worried about a repetition count per se of, as a target, but what we are, we are gonna keep track of our repetitions, all right? So let me know, does, does that make sense you guys or do we have any questions? Give me a thumbs up, but that's pretty good. Okay. So yeah, so what I would encourage you guys, because a lot of you guys have been doing the shoulder taps for a long time. I would encourage, even if you have a little bit of a step, just to put your toes on that. So your butt's up a little bit higher. Eva, that was a really good job on the box, by the way, too. Um, but again, meet yourself where you're at today. All right, everybody. All right, well, let's get ourselves in position. Right, so that's gonna be starting on the floor. All right, oh, I like it, Adair. Okay, everybody, here we go. Three, two, one, and begin. Okay, everybody. So again, with this shoulder tap, with the pike edition, really focus on tipping that tailbone up high to the sky. And it's gonna put a lot of more weight on your hands. So as you do shift side to side, going from shoulder to shoulder, it is gonna be a little bit difficult and it's not something that you wanna do super fast, but do it controlled. So as you shift your body to one side, slap them shoulders, as you shift your weight to the other side, slap your other shoulder, we'll go side to side. Now I do want you to keep track of your repetitions because we are gonna record that and we are gonna submit that at the end of the workout or at the end of the segment. All right, everybody, three, two, one, and rotate. Awesome job. <laughs> nice work, you guys. All right, here we go, five seconds. In three, two, one, begin. All right, so we are gonna be doing tuck-ups or V-ups, and then if we need to, just turn it into a good old-fashioned sit-up. Right, so there's always gonna be an option for what we do. 
Just because it has one thing that we're doing, we can always work around it if needed because we're always at a different spot when we show up for our workouts. All right, 20 seconds. There we go. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, we are back to our shoulder taps, whether we're in the push-up position or in that pike position. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. All right. Good, we're keeping track. Each rep counts. And then once we're done with this segment, we'll put all of our numbers into the chat. All right, 20 seconds. <clears throat> 10 seconds. And three, two, one, and rotate. All right, here we go. We're going right back to the floor, getting ready for some sit-ups. Five seconds, V-ups or tuck-ups. Three, two, one, begin. All right, we are gonna be here for 45 seconds. There we go. Come on, keep pushing, keep pushing. Three, two, one, and rotate. Nice job, everybody. Okay, we're going moving right back to those shoulder taps. Here we go. Three, two, one, and begin. There we go. Concentrate on side to side. Take your time, everybody. Think of it as a skill, right? So we're not rushing through. There we go. 10 seconds. All right, here we go, everybody. Three, two, one, rotate. Nice job. All right, here we go. We're gonna get ready for some tuck-ups, B-ups, or sit-ups. Here we go, everybody. Three, two, one, begin. <clears throat> Good. Again, and this is also kind of like a skill, right? I don't know about you, but V-ups are hard for me. <laughs> you have to, I have to concentrate on my balance. All right, here we go. Three seconds. Three two, one, and rotate. Nice job, everybody. All right, here we go. Right back to those shoulder taps. In three, two, one, and begin.
All right, here we go. Keep pushing. Take your time. 15 seconds. <clears throat> 10 seconds. Almost. Here we go. Five seconds, everybody. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, let's take it to the floor. In five seconds. Three, two, one, and begin. All right, you guys, after we're done with this, we have one more of each movement, and that will complete our body weight pump. And then we're going to move right into our full body sweat workout. Okay, keep it moving, everybody. Make sure we're counting those repetitions. If it's worth doing, it's definitely worth keeping track of. <clears throat> okay, 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Come on, you're doing great. Almost there in three, two, one, and rotate. All right, we're gonna take it right back to the shoulder tap. One set here. Last one, everybody, here we go. Three, two, one, begin. All right, take your time. We slap each shoulder. We're not rushing the movement. Good. Making sure that we feel solid and supported with our hands on the ground. <clears throat> Here we go, 15 seconds. Okay, we're almost there. Nice work, nice work. Keep pushing. Three, two, one, rotate. All right, here we go. Let's take it to the deck. Last time that we're gonna be doing tuck ups, V ups, or sit ups, everybody. Three, two, one, and go. All right. Good work, you guys. As a reminder, we're gonna put our total rep count in the chat. And then what I would encourage you guys to do is to put it into the app also, right? That's gonna keep track of your workout. It's gonna keep track of your progress. There we go, 20 seconds, everybody. Here we go. Nice. All right, five seconds, almost there. Three, two, one, and stop. All right, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and take a grand total, put it into the chat. And one thing I was gonna share with you, it's gonna be best for like the app, is I wanted to share with you on the app, you know, where, where we have like the results. Hopefully you guys can see that. In the app where it says, you know, results, and then to the left of it, if you guys look into it, it actually has a prepare. So if none of you guys have ever clicked on prepare, prepare simply will give you demos of the, of the movement, just in case you need a little bit of refresher, and just in case that you're not able to do the live training for whatever, meetings on the road, um, you know, we do have the video that you can follow along with the workout, but it also shows you. So anyways, just some, this little feature out there that I don't know if you guys have noticed, but it's out there and it is for you. So, all right, Tina, is your chat working today? No. <laughs> Let's oh, it's like all cramped together. It doesn't let me type. Uh, 280. 280. Gotcha. <laughs> It's gonna say Scott, but I'm typing Tina's number. Okay, all right. All right, well, let's go into the full body sweat workout today. We're gonna to be working for 20 minutes. And so the theme today is EMOM. So it's every minute on the minute. 
So the first minute, you guys, we're going to be doing 45 seconds of cardio. So I want you to start thinking about what are you going to do today for your cardio? The second movement is going to be our sit-throughs. So we've been doing that a little bit more abundantly, and I have seen progress in everybody as you guys are doing that. The third movement is going to be double unders, right? So you know, if you don't have a rope, that's okay. Um, we're going to be doing our single under like we were doing. It's just going to be a higher jump. So I want you to jump higher, right? Because that's what a double under would request of you is that you jump a little bit higher and a little bit harder right? So to get up a little bit more hang time and that rope can go under your body twice opposed to a single under at one time. And then this is going to be the best part. We're going to be doing box dips. Okay. So I want you guys to find a spot that you can do some box dips, right? And so I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring out my rower really quick. And that is going to be my bench. <clears throat> So again, I'm just going to use really whatever I have to uh, that will allow me to one, sit on, two, walk my feet out. And at that point, I'm going to be able to take my butt off of the bench and then I'm going to lower myself down and then up. Okay. So the key thing right here, everybody, is that you're keeping your butt close to whatever the bench is and that those elbows, right, are staying back and just you're going to lower yourself back down and then push yourself back up. Now, if you have a big box, what I don't want is I don't want your elbows to go so high and you to dip yourself into a, in a and I say well, a weak position. Make sure as we go down, we feel strong and supported in the shoulders, but those triceps are being hit, okay? So if you feel it more in your shoulders because you're going so low, um, don't go as low. And just remember, keep your butt close to your box, your bench, your step, whatever you're doing, your chair, whatever you're going to be using. So, all right, well, let's do this really quick. Let's go over our sit-throughs, just to recap, making sure that we're all good. And then we'll go over some alternatives if needed. So remember, we're going to be in a push-up position. And I'm going to go and get a rotate to my left side. So my right hand's going to be planted into the floor. I'm going to kick my right leg through and if i feel good about it right this left leg is going to drop my butt to the floor i'm then going to reset center and then go right back into it again so let's go ahead and do this let's go ahead and do five sit throughs well let's do four i don't want to have an odd number right so let's just practice that two on each side and really work on that rotation now if just kicking your leg through is what where we're at today that's okay Okay, because doing a one single, you know, a single arm plank is relatively hard. And the warm up's just gonna help warm up those shoulders. But I promise we'll be warming up those shoulders also in the workout. All right, so let's do this cardio, sit throughs, double unders or high, high jumps, and then box dips. And we're gonna do this all for 45 seconds at each station. So we'll have 15 seconds to rotate to the next station. So, all right, well, let's do this, everybody. Let's get ourselves in position. Adair's out on the deck. All right, here we go. All right, well, we're gonna start off with our cardio, everybody. So let me do this. Give me that thumbs up if you guys are ready. Ready to rock and roll. All right, let's do this. Pulling my clock down as we speak. Eva, we're going to push it on three. One, two, and three. And three, two, one. Here we go. Let us begin. We are doing cardio for 45 seconds. So we are moving and grooving. Okay. Getting that heart rate up, knowing that we have 15 seconds to stop as we transition into the next movement. Okay. All right, 15 seconds. There we go, there we go. We're moving. <clears throat> Three, two, one, and rotate. 
All right, here we go. The next one's gonna be your sit throughs. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. <clears throat> Good, we're just gonna kick through nice and smooth. All right. 15 seconds. All right, here we go. Five seconds, everybody. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right. So we're gonna move ourselves into our third station. It's gonna be our double ender, right? Our jump rope. So if we're doing it, three, two, one, and begin. When we do this, we're jumping, we're just jumping a little bit higher. So normal skips. You know, or just barely off the ground where double unders have to be a little bit higher, right? Because a double under with a rope is one jump with two revolutions of the rope. So we're practicing for that movement. All right. 15 seconds. There we go. There we go. And then remember, after this movement, we are then going to be doing our box dips. Here we go. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, everybody. We're on the fourth movement of round one, going into box dips in five seconds. Three, two, one, and begin. Okay. So, reminder, we're working for 20 minutes today. Each station is going to have 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds of rotation, right? Allows you to grab some water, allows you to write down your repetitions if you need to, allows you to write notes or just catch your breath. All right, here we go. 20 seconds. Here we go. All right, 10 seconds. Okay, coming down, three, two, one, rotate. All right, everybody, we are starting the next set. Going right back to your cardio, 45 seconds of cardio. Doesn't matter what you do, it's whatever you're doing, it's getting your heart rate up. Here we go, three, two, one, begin. All right, so as we work out, right, we're finishing or we're starting up round number two. But things what we need to do when it starts to get hard or we feel like, oh, I don't know if I have it, is to always remind yourself of the why you're here and then why you're doing it. Sometimes just literally saying one word out loud is super helpful. Just kind of keep you in the, in, the, in the mood, keep you in the focus while you're doing your workout. 10 seconds, everybody. Here we go. Three, two, one, and you're done. All right, go ahead and rotate. We're gonna be doing our alternated sit-throughs. Three, two, one, and begin. So the first time that I saw this movement, it was doing jujitsu. <laughs> so it's a, it's a nice, high-skilled movement, in my opinion. Right, all your weight is on one hand, and then you're rotating and kicking that leg through, and then lowering your butt to the deck. All right, it's a super pretty movement, again, in my opinion, and uh, super cool. It takes a lot of strength to do this. Okay, 15 seconds. All right, five seconds. And three, two, one, rotate. 
All right, here we go. Right back to your jump rope. Here we go in three, two, one, and begin. All right, here we go. Good work, everybody. Staying in rhythm. <clears throat> Here we go, 15 seconds. Stay with it, stay with it. Okay, five seconds. And three, two, one, rotate. All right, right back to your box dips, going back. There we go. Here we go. Three, two, one, and begin. All right. So we're finishing up the round. We're lowering ourselves and then we're pushing through. All right. Remember, we're not going too deep. Right, we do want to feel supported by the shoulder. We don't want to feel like a, a put ourselves in a weak shoulder. Yeah, that looks really strong in there. There we go. And then we're gonna feel it in those triceps. Okay, here we go. Five seconds. You got this. Stay with it. Three, two, and rotate. All right, we are going right back into the next round. Here we go. Start with cardio. Three, two, one, and let's go. All right, 45 seconds of cardio. So you are doing whatever it takes to get your heart rate up. And then just remember that we do have time to transition into the next station. So it's gonna allow your heart rate to go down. So essentially allows you to catch your breath. Nice job. Okay, five seconds. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, here we go. We're going right back to the floor with our sit throughs in three, two, one, begin. There we go. Kicking through, nice and smooth. Nice. Think one side at a time, don't rush it. There we go. <clears throat> and remembering to grab some water in between your rounds when you need it. It's gonna help you get to your uh, grand total of water at the end of the day, the more that we sip. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and rotate. Good work, you guys. All right, here we go. We're gonna go right into our jump rope, whether it's with a rope or without a rope. Three, two, one, begin. All right, here we go. Good work. Find the rhythm that you can hold. Yeah, good. <laughs> Woo, nice. Yeah, remember that, Dare, if you go one, two, that one, two, double under. Yeah, you're doing it, you're doing it. 10 seconds. All right, here we go, everybody. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, let's go ahead and go right to our box, 
right? Our chair, our step, whatever, wherever we're gonna do our dips at. In three, two, one, and go. There we go, come on. Pick a number and I want you guys to chase that number. All right, pick a number and then chase that number. There we go. Keep it moving. <clears throat> All right, 10 seconds, everyone. Come on, keep pushing, keep pushing. Three, two, one, and rotate. Good work. Here we go. All right, we're going right back to the top. We're going right back into our cardio. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and let's start. So we got 45 seconds of cardio. So I really want you guys to start to push yourself. As we start to get deeper into the workout, you start to know what you have remaining in your energy to go into the next movement. So give yourself a little bit of extra push if you have more in the tank. And knowing just when it comes to kind of a caloric burning advantage, the harder that we push ourselves in this hour, the more our day benefits from this effort. Okay, 10 seconds. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, we're gonna move right into our sit-throughs. Here we go, get set, five seconds. Three, two, one, and begin. So that's a little fun fact when it comes to uh, strength training and it comes to cardio, right? So when we're just, let's say, running, once we're done running, everything stops, right? That little internal burn stops. Now, when it comes to resistance training, you actually have the potential of continuing to burn for over 24 hours. So your body continues to benefit from what we do in each of our training sessions. All right, 15 seconds. Good. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, here we go. We're going right back into our jump rope. Three, two, one, and go. Here we go, guys. Jump rope. There we go. You got it. So 45 seconds of single skips. And if you feel comfortable with your single skip with or without a rope, we're going to jump a little bit higher, right? A little bit higher spring. Okay, here we go. 15 seconds. Here we go. Five more seconds. And three, two, one, and stop. Good work. All right, here we go, guys. We're gonna go right back into our box dip. So find that spot where you're doing your dips at. Three, two, one, and go. All right, so we got box dips. So we're on a chair. We're gonna be on a bench. There we go, just going up and down. <clears throat> All right, 15 seconds. Three, two, one and rotate. All right, here we go. 
And let's go right back to the top. Get ready for some cardio, everybody. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and let's go. All right, here we go. Last round of our full body sweat workout. So it's gonna be the last piece of cardio today. Just as a reminder, we are gonna have a finisher at the end of today's session and we'll need to have one or two of your dumbbells. Okay, here we go. Keep pushing everybody. We got 15 seconds. Come on, keep going, keep going. Here we go. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, let's take it to the floor. We're gonna be doing sit-throughs in three, two, one, and begin. All right. So again, we want to make sure that that arm is pushing through the floor, right? We have a strong shoulder supporting the movement. And at that time, and only at that time, can we start to uh, rotate through, right? Give a little rotation, kick the leg through. And then the foot that's on the floor is going to lower us down, let our butt touch the deck, and then come back up to that starting position. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Nice, keep it flowing, keep it flowing. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, here we go. We are back to our jump ropes. Three, two, one, and begin. All right, here we go, everybody. Let's get that high jump. Good. Nice to dare, keep it going. Good, 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 good. Almost there, everybody. Come on, 15 seconds. There we go. Don't stop, don't stop. All right, five seconds, everybody. Three, two, one, rotate. All right, last movement of this segment. Okay, we're going five seconds in three, two, one, and begin. All right, so we have 45 seconds left. And then again, we do have a finisher after this segment. So we will need to have our dumbbells. Come on, keep pushing. Fifteen seconds. Nice job, nice job. We're almost there. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. All right, everybody, go ahead, grab yourself some water. And as you guys are grabbing your water, want you guys to grab your dumbbells, bring them closer to you. Because we are gonna have a little bit of a finisher. It's crazy how fast the hour goes by. I don't know if you guys feel that way. But you guys are moving, so I think it does feel that way. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and get my self set up over here. All Maybe right, well, let's- standing still would think the hour goes by quickly. I know, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> I would say usually standing here, it doesn't seem like time would go by quick, but it totally goes by quick. But I don't sweat like everybody else is sweating. 
All right. Well, hey, let's do this really quick. We're going to go ahead and do our finisher as promised. So grab yourself. Okay. Go ahead and grab two of your dumbbells or grab one of them. Right. But what we're going to start off with is something that we tend to do a lot is we go ahead and we're going to do our hammer curls. So go ahead and kind of stand up tall, shoulders are back, everyone. And we're going to just go, to, go ahead and pull those dumbbells right to your shoulders. Right. Yeah, so let's get, a, let's get about four or six of these dumbbell curls real quick just to kind of warm up the muscle before we start pushing it. And we can do the dumbbells together, okay? We can do the dumbbells together or we can do alternating, all right? Your call. Now, the next piece is going to be our seesaw upright row. So the dumbbells are going to be in front of us. Shoulders are still going to be back. And at that point, I'm just going to pull those elbows to the sky, all right, so pull your elbows to the sky and get those elbows parallel, if not higher than your ear, all right? Because what we want to avoid is we want to avoid the, the wrist higher than the elbow. We want the elbow higher than the wrist, okay? And that's going to be a strong supported position for your, your shoulder. All right, well, let's get ourselves set. All right, how we're gonna do this is gonna be for five sets, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. All right, everybody, give me your thumbs up if we're ready to start this. All right, here we go. If we have a clock, let's push it on three. One, two, and three. And three, two, one, begin. All right, so we're doing it for 20 seconds, right? So we're just gonna stay moving. If we need to rest, obviously rest but stay in motion for, for 20 seconds. And don't worry, we're not keeping track of our repetitions right now. We are just finishing ourselves off. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, upright rows are coming next. Remember, get the dumbbells on the front side of your body, on your quads, and begin. Alternating upright rows, also known as seesaw upright rows. Good. There we go. And then as a reminder on Wednesdays, you guys, this be a really, really good day to invite a friend because it doesn't take a lot of and rotate. I'm talking too much. All right, here we go. Hammer curls. Two, one, and begin. Yeah, Wednesdays are a really good day to invite a friend because if they don't have dumbbells or they don't have any weight equipment, it's just body weight. So it's good for a tryout if they need it. Here we go. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, we're going to move right back to those upright rows in three, two, one, and begin. Awesome. There we go. Come on, keep it moving. Alternate, give that full focus on one side at a time. Elbows high. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, here we go. We're back to those hammer curls in three, two, one, and begin. All right. Tuck those elbows into your body, and we're just going right straight up. Either we're alternating or we're doing it together. And you guys know why we're doing this, right? Beach season right around the corner. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, upright rows, everyone. Three, two, one, and begin. All right, pulling them up high, abs are tight, right? It's almost like we're doing a little bit of a lean back pull. There we go. Brace your abs, brace your glutes, then pull. Three, two, one, and rotate. Good job. All right, here we are, right back to those bicep curls in two, one, begin. All right, everybody, here we go. Again, really focus on tucking those elbows into your rib cage. Again, that's gonna help you isolate 
the bicep more opposed to letting it flail out. That then recruits the shoulder a little bit more. Well, tuck those suckers in. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, right back to those upright rows. Here we go. In three, two, one, begin. There we go. Come on, keep it moving. We're almost done. Ah, oh, get those yawns out of the way. <laughs> Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, everybody, we have this one more time each. One more set of bicep curls. Three, two, one, begin. There we go. Get it going, get it going. Once we're done with this piece, we do have one more set of those upright rows and then we are done for the morning. Three, two, one, and rotate. All right, upright rows, everyone. Brace your abs, squeeze them glutes, and begin. If you need to even lean back a little bit, feel free to lean back just a little bit as you pull those elbows up. There we go. Come on. We're almost there, everybody. Here we go. Three, two, one, and stop. Good job today, you guys. High five to everybody out there for getting it done. All right, well, let's do this really quick, you guys. Get your guns ablazing. We're gonna do our group photo for the morning. And then we're gonna do this and go kick off our day. All right, everybody, here we go. Three, two, one. We did it, you guys. Good work today. Charlie, we'll see you guys tomorrow at seven o'clock. And then I will see you guys on Friday, same time, same place. Thank you. See you guys. Have a great day, everybody.